Hi, how are you? So today I want to show you my solution to keep the bugs away or mainly mosquitoes. Um, so when it's warm out um, and you're some place where, where there's a stagnant water, uh, you will have mosquitoes. Now, when I go on a hike, I still use uh, these, let me see, where are they? These pump sprays like this. Uh, and then I just, uh, you know, use this to, to, to rub myself down and that's perfectly fine. But um, actually these things uh, don't work as as effective as I would like them to so if there are a lot of mosquitoes you spray in with this stuff and uh, it, it may help some but you're still bound to have many mosquitoes going around you and uh, yeah it's it's just this this constant hissing around you and having all the, the mosquitoes there is, is, is really quite nerving so the pump spray is really fine when you're going on a hike and I don't want to take anything bigger or bulkier along, but uh, in overnighters, I, I uh, switched to this thing. I stumbled upon this a couple of years ago, and this is the Thermocell, and I got uh, the, the version, the Backpacker. Here, let me get you closer. There you go. So, it comes in this small storage bag, right? And if I take it out, right there, This is the Thermocell Backpacker, right there. And uh, this weighs 117 grams, or uh, just about four ounces. And uh, the storage bag is, uh, let me see, is 10 grams, or 0.3 ounces. So, as you can see, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's rectangular, you know, small side and wide side. The small side is, let me peek on my, my uh, sheet there. The small side is five centimeters or just about two inches. The, uh, the long side here is uh, seven centimeters or uh, two and three quarter inches. And it's, 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 it's taller than that. And that's 10.5 centimeters or uh, four and a quarter inches, just about. So, um, this thing uh, has, a, has a, a, a metal plate right here on top, and uh, you slide some uh, you slide some some pads here, um, some blue pads here, and they have an insecticide, and that's uh, Prorel. I got a sorry, uh, Pro. Well. Prorelithrin. Don't know if that's right. I'll just, I'll, I'll just pop it up, uh, and that's the insecticide, um, and uh, these these small pads are are filled with it. They're blue. They slide in here, and then they're supposed to give you about four hours, and that works. I can tell you, they give you four hours of of, of bug protection or or mosquito protection. So. The whole thing uh, has an, as you can see here, I don't know, that on off switch, right? Uh, it has a piezo and igniter here, right? And uh, down here, and this is why I got this, uh, down here it has a, has a thread right there. And that's to uh, thread it onto these small gas canisters. That's why I got this version. So there's also uh, another version, uh, unlike this, which screws on a gas canister. Uh, it's it's a closed system, um, which uses the, the the pads with the with the uh, agent, and um, which which does not use a gas a standard gas canister, but it has its own proprietary uh, version. 
uh, I don't I don't like that since I have these canisters anyway uh, dual use so I want to I want to have these canisters and not not the own own version they have for this it's another version so the backpacker works with these gas canisters and that's in my mind a very very big advantage making the gas canister a, a dual use item so I'm going to show you how to use it um, so you there's a cap here you pop that open and then you just screw it onto your your gas canister you see yeah. Right, then it's like this. All right, you turn it to on, and then you hear it hissing, so it works. And then you just ignite it. So, right here, you have a small mesh, and you can see, yeah, it's working. I don't know, can you see that? Yeah, I guess. Um, so there's there's not a flame. But uh, the mesh is, is kind of is kind of glowing, and that heats up this this metal plate, and then it vaporizes the agent that's in this in these pads that go in here. So, um, having said that, when you when you start this, it has to be relatively wind still. So so it, it vaporizes. You can if it if it works, you can. You can see a small vapor going up here and uh, and then it kind of forms a dome uh, where the mosquitoes just fly in and say ah it doesn't smell too good and then they just leave so um, you have to keep in mind though when you start this it's it's not like a light switch it's not like you turn it on and then they are all gone so you turn it on it has to heat up the uh, the metal it has to start vaporizing and then it it slowly builds up so it takes a couple of minutes for this thing to be effective but um, if it if it is uh, in, in working condition it works really well uh, the one thing you have to keep in mind um, it, it, it builds a dome of, of, of uh, a scent the smell <laughs> And um, if it's if it's a bit windy, of course, this will you know if the wind comes from this direction, it will push the vapor that way. So if it's windy, the wind is coming from this direction. Put it a couple of feet on that side, so so the dome will be effective. Uh, this best works if it's wind still. If there's a light breeze going, you can you can probably pop this to the side. We did that as well and uh, it works pretty well uh, if there's a strong wind you're not gonna have mosquitoes anyway now <clears throat> I know there's also uh, uh, a way to to repel mosquitoes by just starting a fire but um, at least in, in the area I live that's not always an option because uh, it's not always legal to have a fire at any place at any time and right now in this summer we're uh, where it's pretty dry and uh, uh, we're fighting against fire uh, uh, woodland fires um, you might have a fire ban as well I mean yes of course this is a flame too if you, if you will but uh, it's not a it's not an open flame so this is uh, relatively safe so when I show you how to how to operate this thing, you probably notice there's no pad in there. So I want to quickly talk about the pads right now. Uh, the pads uh, usually fill this whole area right here. So if you if you get the original thermothel pads, they fit exactly. They slide in from 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 this side, and they exactly fit uh, the rectangle here. Now, the original pads from Thermocell, they are quite expensive and uh, so I searched the internet, the internet knows everything, and I found uh, these things, see, uh, they're a bit smaller and as you can see, it's about half the size. 
uh, but this is very cheap these things usually come with these uh, uh, mosquito uh, uh, things that work with uh, electricity it's the same principle so you also have this uh, have this agent in here and uh, uh, then only the metal plate gets heated with electricity and then it vaporizes as well um, and the backpacker just does the same thing only with a gas canister so um, so you can get actually these uh, these replacement pads here uh, they're smaller like I said I have some original packed ones here this is an original from thermocell right here and uh, this is uh, I have to fold away the excess plastic but this is the you can see it's about half the size this is the the knockoff which is lack of a of another word it's not a knockoff it's the same it's the same material uh, and I'm not going to try to pronounce it again um, so you can you can uh, uh, you can cheap out a little bit and uh, if you use this a lot you can you can use uh, these these smaller uh, uh, smaller pads from another brand now uh, the large brand uh, the original for thermothel that exactly fits is supposed to work about four hours I, I can I can say that's that's about correct the the smaller ones um, the knockoff uh, or, or, or let's call them alternatives the alternatives with the half I just usually you know put them in that they that they are just in the center here and uh, if you like you can put two in as well it's still cheaper than getting the original um, and so one of this half size pad should work about two hours and I'd say it probably even works a bit more probably about around two and a half to three hours so um, there's something you can you can save some you can save some money on that um, also I want to address uh, uh, you get them and uh, if they're fresh they're blue and you know they're used up when they turn white so they, they, they vaporize the, the stuff and then it's white. Um, apparently this is a light blue. If you, if you leave them out in the air, they, they, this is an old one, they, they turn light blue again. Um, you've seen me touch this thing and uh, uh, it's not gonna kill you. Uh, you've seen me touch this thing a minute ago, but if I can, I usually, I, I like to take some tweezers or some pliers and, and, and just touch it with, with pliers because this thing is not going to kill you but it's, it's, it's lightly toxic so, so it's, you, you should probably not, not look on it uh, so uh, this is lightly toxic that's why uh, you're not supposed to throw it away just in nature just, just take your trash back home with you uh, you should do that in any case and uh, usually I keep the, the plastic wrapper and then when it's when it's finished I take it out and I pop it back in also right here you can see on the it, the thermos cell also has that but it has it has this hazard sign in the back so you shouldn't focus me yes focus focus yes um, so you shouldn't actually just throw it away yeah well so with that having said that um, that's it that's how I keep mosquitoes away thanks for watching see you on the next one bye